hello everyone today i want to show you how to solve this problem for the values of x uh, if we have x plus 6 whole square equals to 36 and we solve this problem for all the values of x so here we solve this problem for two methods uh, and i hope so you like both of these methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section and now here in the first method uh, we can apply uh, the nice algebraic formula here if you have a square minus b square it is equals to a minus b times of a plus b so here we apply this nice algebraic formula so for uh, in order to applying this algebraic formula first we need to uh, simplify uh, these terms into this algebraic formula form so that uh, first we have x plus 6 whole square and this is plus 36 when we move in the left hand side it will become minus 36 and this whole equation equals to 0 and now here we need to focus on this 36 and we write our 36 as 6 square and this whole equation equals to 0 and now you see here <clears throat> the base of this term is our a it means that our a is equal to x plus 6 and the base of this term is our b so that our b is equal to 6 only so uh, in order to apply this formula we just put the values of a and b in the right hand side of this formula so that our above formula is written as first you have a minus b the value of a is x plus 6 minus the value of b is 6 only and again we have a plus b again the value of a is x plus 6 plus the value of b is 6 and this whole equation equals to 0 and now in the next step we need uh, some working in the left hand side and here we add or subtract the like terms so you see here this is negative c and positive c are cancelled out by each other and we get here x times of uh, this is x plus uh, 6 plus 6 becomes 12 <coughs> and this whole equation equals to 0. And now here in the next step we need to divide this equation into the two cases. The first case is we write uh, x equals to 0 and the second case is we write uh, x plus 12 equals to 0. So here you see that this is the first solution of the given equation and here we move this plus 12 to the right hand side and we get minus 12 and this is the our second solution of the given equation. So these are the two final solutions of the given equation uh, which we get here from first method and now we again solve this problem for second method. Uh, so that uh, for second method uh, first we need to copy down the given question statement here so that the given question statement is x plus 6 whole square equals to 36 this is our given question statement and now here in the second uh, in the second method uh, we can uh, just apply here an other algebraic formula you know that if we have a plus b whole square is equals to a square plus 2 times of a b plus b square so this is the our uh, nice algebraic formula uh, here uh, we need to just <coughs> applying this formula uh, in the left hand side of the above uh, equation so you see that our a is equals to x and our b is equals to 6 so according to this formula uh, we expand the left hand side as in this form first you have uh, x plus 6 whole square it is written as x square plus 2 times of x into 6 because our a is x and b is 6 plus b square so b is 6 square and this whole equation is equals to 36 and now in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as x square plus this is 2 times of 6 becomes 12x and plus this is 6 square equals to 36 and this whole equation equals to also 36. <clears throat> so further in the next step we need more simplifications and here we move this plus 36 in the left hand side and it will be written as x square plus 12x 
plus 36 and this will become minus 36 and this whole equation equals to 0. And now you, uh, here again we need to add or subtract the like term. So this is positive and negative term are gone and we get here x square plus 12x equals to 0. Now we solve this problem for the values of x and you see here both of these terms involve x and here we take common x and we get the remaining values are here we take common x and plus here when you take common x from here we get 12 only and this whole equation equals to 0. And now we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is and now we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write x equals to 0 and the second case is we write x plus 12 equals to 0. So this is the our first solution of the given equation which we get here from second method and uh, here we get our x is equals to minus 12. This is plus 12 when we move in the right hand side it will become minus 12. So this is the second solution and you see here from both of these methods we will get here the same solution of the given equation. And now further uh, in the next step we need to verify all of these uh, solutions or all of these values of x so that uh, for verification of the values of x we need to copy down given question statement here it will be written as x plus 6 whole square equals to 36 and now further in the next step uh, here we verify both of these values so that here we verify the value x equals to 0 and here we verify the value x is equals to minus 12 so uh, here for in order to verification of the values first we will verify this value of x and we put x equal to 0 in the left hand side so it will be written as 0 plus 6 whole square is equals to 36 and 0 plus 6 becomes here 6 square equals to 36 and this 6 square is equals to 36 equals to 36 so this shows that the value of x equals to 0 satisfy the given question statement so this is the first solution of the given equation and now here we verify the second solution of the given equation and now we need to put this value in the left hand side and it will be written as minus 12 plus 6 whole square equals to 36 and minus 12 plus 6 equals to minus 6 whole square is equals to 36 and this minus 6 square becomes here 36 equals to 36. So this also shows that both of the sides are equal. It means that the second value of x that is minus 12 is also satisfied this question statement. So these are the two solutions of the given equation. And this is the final answer of this question. And thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.